welcome to today's episode of Humble Beginnings. This is a sequel to last week's episode where we brought you the epic story of a refined lady who has paid a hefty price for her name and her empire today, Lizzie Wanyoike. The founder and principal of Needs Technical College and also the CEO of the Emory Hotel. My journey of where where I am now, being able to do what I do, I started in my 40s. That means there is no time limit for you to grow and do big things. I don't know why, <laughs> why me. I don't know. I always ask. They don't look at the money you own or the businesses you have. They look at the impact on community. I didn't have anything. I was now homeless again. Life was very difficult. Very, very difficult. This place was a desert. People put up hostels, you know, you can see all these buildings, they were not there. They came because of needs. And away from education, today's episode is about her contribution in the hospitality industry. Coming up, we felt we need, we can start a hotel because my, our department, our hospitality department is huge. So I felt that uh, maybe I should also be part of employing some of these students as they go to other hotels. We are, they, we are a high-class hotel, mm. but offering moderate, being moderate in prices, everything yes. is moderate. Okay. We were actually thinking something small, you know, 20 rooms, uh, maintain the restaurant, and, uh, you know, not too much different from what Nib's guest house used to be. Just mm. We have eight or nine rooms. In wow. this hotel. 89? 89. Okay. The rooms there all the way up to the seventh floor. Uh -huh. Regular, normal, I mean, the rooms, were, they are not, they're not enough. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a good problem to have. Uh. Yeah, can't complain. All right. So, so while at it, let me understand, why, why the name Emory? Be my guest. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Asante. Enjoy. Thank you. back to the Emory Hotel. It is said that this, this beautiful facility was a gift to your daughter. Yes. That is accurate. I promised her when she was out of the country, she uh -huh. wanted to know what am I coming to do uh -huh. if I come home. Okay. What, what am I going, what am I coming to do? Here I have a job, yes. have a nice job. Mm -hmm. So now you are telling me to come home. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's very difficult for me to get a job as a structural engineer. Definitely. They maybe I mean I, so what do I do? I told her, okay, I'll give you a project. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, she has had so many projects, so many projects even wow. after this, because she's the one who did the Nibs College one. Oh, the, not the she's new a, one. The big one. The, the new one they one. call Russia. Now the old, yeah, no, <laughs> Russia. Russia is the one which is now uh, 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 going to be a, pre, a preparatory. Okay. Preparatory. 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 Ah. preparatory. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That is the one that is, she, she found that one halfway. Okay. So she was involved in completing it. All right. Then she was to do this hotel. Mm -hmm. Then the Nibs complex came up. Yes. She's, in, she's managing all of them. All right. And then she built a house for me. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, and you get to pay her just like any normal yeah, engineer. She's a, because she's a, a director, yes. she is on, on, she's on the payroll. Lovely. She just gets some allowances here and there for mm -hmm. when she needs some to go to, to go to India to shop or to China to go mm. there. But uh, she's on a payroll. Okay. And again, they are developing the business for, mm. for themselves, not for me. <laughs> it's true. Me. It's true, by yeah. the way. Mm -hmm. that is you yes, yes. Yeah, that was, that was the carrot. <laughs> <laughs> um, you and something to be promised. Well, okay, so Emory also uh, grew in vision. That was not the original um, thought. We were building on what was already existing. We were actually thinking something small, you know, 20 rooms, uh, maintain the restaurant, and, uh, you know, not too much different from what Nib's guest house used to be, just to improve, to improve the face. Then it grew to 40 rooms. And then um, the ideas just kept growing and growing and growing. So to what it is today. I mean, it was, it was a good feeling because we are part of the legacy. It's something she wanted to go beyond her and she knew she had to 
involve us in order for it to get beyond her to become a legacy. So in that sense, we, me and my siblings, we feel that responsibility to know that it cannot end with us. And um, we needed to come back and learn the business, um, you know, use our skills, because we're all, you know, we're all educated, we're all uh, blessed, we're all skilled. I mean, we've got no reason why um, we cannot become, you know, a big part of what she's uh, trying to, to leave behind. Yeah, so it's, it's a great honor to be able to be, to be part of that legacy. Mm. She's done the engineering part of it. Beautiful. She specialized in, in structural engineering. Uh -huh. So everything is planned in a, they are in a group uh -huh. of consultants. Okay. So, so the ones who so go to decide. The what do you want here? She's mm. not in Lovely. And I'm sure at the very end you loved the interior design, the colors yeah. chosen. <laughs> mm, many oh. prominent people come and you know, they come here. It's a quiet place, it's not like any other park. Yes. We have high people who mm -hmm. come and we uh, are here. Beautiful. Uh, so, while well, I could probably ask you, like, who exactly, like, which are the kind of people which Emory has been able to host? Uh, senior government officials. Beautiful. Very senior mm -hmm. government officials. Yes. Senior business people. Ah. And ordinary people like you. Like me, can come yes. and oh. be able to afford. Yeah. yeah. In fact, we, our prices are very reasonable. Okay. You know, okay. this is, uh, it's not, <laughs> we, we, are, we are a high class hotel, mm. but offering moderate, being moderate in prices, everything yes. is moderate. Okay. So you come here and enjoy the comfort you want to come back and because mm. you can afford. I'm quickly shown the details of the hotel on paper, just before a physical tour to some of the seven floors of the Emory. Oh my. Uh, so, mm -hmm. this is the, the suit. Yes. You, as you can see, it has, uh, you can have, you can relax here. Mm. You have the writing table. Wow. You make your course there. Y yes. And we have coffee. Mm. This is the in-house coffee. <laughs> I'm actually tempted to make some. <laughs> okay. And then you uh, have to have some things to keep. Yes. Uh, wow. Mm. Right. And then of course we have the bathrooms. Then uh, the most important part is mm. <laughs> enter here. You can see. Okay. <laughs> Lovely. Yes. So we have the shower. Mm. It's all glass. Yeah. Then where you can do your cleaning up. Mm -hmm. Wow. Of course, uh, the facilities. Yes. As they are. Lovely. Then, when you are ready, mm -hmm. you relax. Yes. You come this way. More to the bedroom side. <laughs> and here you are. Woo! Then you can strip. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, you have an extension around there. Uh. Yeah, if you do, Lovely. Then go through there. You just wake up from here and then you go into the bathroom. Ah, there's just something about the colors and their blend. <laughs> and the view. And the view out yeah, here. You still have the view. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you are, so, oh my. Uh, so wow. You can completely relax. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. This is a place I'd consider. So far, we are on about eight. About eight. Yeah, oh. And you're able to keep, uh, as much as other people managing, you're able to keep detail, or I mean, just track of all the small details. Yeah, you know, I'm a hard on person. Wow. I come here. I come here to encourage the workers here. I say hi, mm. they see me, they know. <laughs> <laughs> so, and at college, of course, I spend more time yes. because here they are children, they are hard on them. Mm. So I have to be more at the college. Okay. But here, at least, I make sure that these people get to know who I am. Mm. And I go around, see how they are working, encourage them, say hi, get right. to know their names. Mm. Um, but I'm, I'm, I am not just somebody who just call what Called. is going on. Yeah. I only call when it's very necessary. Okay. But I'm a hard on person. I don't like. Uh, giving telephone orders. Ah. I give I can I can give instructions but then I have to go and see how it's being implemented. Mm. And the good thing is I've got very good managers. 
After such a gracious walk through the Imuri with a personal taste from her, we have confirmed that all the excellence and panache that is displayed on this booklet actually exists to the dot. It's on that note that we take a short break and when we resume, we'll draw closer to Lizzie's heart and hear some interesting confessions as well as lessons she's learned along the way and she's willing to share. Welcome back. A fighter is someone who reinvents themselves over and over until their heart finally finds home. And that has been the story of Lizzie Wanyoike, the founder and principal of Nibs Technical College and the CEO of the Imuri Hotel. And as we tour the colorfully designed rooms at the Imuri, overlooking the breathtaking Nairobi skyline, she poses to recapture some memories. Um, I don't know if you can be able to remember, like the first time you slept in a big hotel. That could have been three... Uh, it's a long stuff. time ago. You know when I, I got my streets from uh, college. Okay. So you can imagine the college rooms and all that. <laughs> yes. Back home, I didn't have a bed. I knew my <laughs> <laughs> back in the village. So uh, back in the village, uh. we used to share a bed. That, you know, you can imagine then at this college, it was better in the hostels. Okay. But uh, when I came home and I got married immediately, mm -hmm. even before I had my own Kasmok uh, house, mm -hmm. I went from college and just got married. Okay. So uh, my husband wanted to show me around, so he took me to London. Ah. And when we went to London, we stayed in a Hilton Hotel of London. London. Yeah. Okay. So. I I I just can't explain to, because this is, <laughs> I'm seeing this for the first time. Yes. Uh, so I, I, when, when, when he was there with uh -huh. me, I used to stay in five-star hotels all the time. Okay. So that's all I knew. Mm -hmm. Like in a five-star hotel. So you're saying for you the first one was in London? Was in London, in Hilton. Hilton. Okay. Yes. And that was definitely quite an experience. And you can imagine, oh my God. A village girl. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from the village, wow. Uh, I, did you even sleep? I, I, yeah, right. And the village girl in her remembers father that this was not just her first experience in a hotel of such rating, but also her first time on a commercial flight. And more memories would be created just before it all tumbled down. I've even, I've, I've even flown in a, in a supersonic plane. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> quite an That's experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. We were celebrating my birthday and we went from, from US, uh -huh. from Ross. It was not Los Angeles, it was Ohio, okay. that is Chicago, mm. to London, mm -hmm. in a supersonic. It takes eight hours uh -huh. for the ordinary plane, plane yes. like the Boeing, seven songs, all this. Yes. But it used to take three hours with the wow. supersonic. Do you feel the speed as you move? Yeah, you feel it. It it's vibrates. And you know, it's high, high, high up. I can imagine. It goes to... Higher than you know, you know these others go to forty-four thousand square uh, you know, feet. Mm, uh, yes. But this one goes higher S slightly than higher. that. Okay. So the the vibrations you can feel, mm. the speed of course you <laughs> feel, but you can, you know it's not like a car yes. where you see you are, you are passing through. You know here you are in the air. So oh my. It was also quite an experience. Uh, mm. All right, all right. Those were the days. That hey. I, 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 I had to start from the bottom again. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I can imagine, especially now when you had to go back to the hostel. No, I had to go, to go back to the hostel. Ah. But uh, that's life. <laughs> I tell you, you, you are a superwoman. <laughs> as I said, you had to build yeah. from the ground yes. up twice in your life. Uh, and now, it's finally time when we get to have a sit down with Liz Wanyoike and find out what is that that makes her tick? It's time to get up close and personal. Follow me in. Be my guest. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Asante. You. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Lovely. Mm -hmm. Quite some class going on here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You know, when... Uh, you see, when mm -hmm. we eat in a hotel, in a hotel, mm -hmm. it's not because you don't have food at home. <laughs> <laughs> nice point. You know me, when, I, when I'm at home, I say, where's my food? Yeah, mm -hmm. they try to, no, 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 bring it, and then you can eat. <laughs> but when you. you are here, yeah. you're also trying to 
test your manners, you know. That's true. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you eat in portions. You eat in portions. Okay. Eat, uh, methodically, you uh. know. <laughs> <laughs> With some style, because, some yeah, class. Because it is uh, what you are paying when you go into a hotel and mm. what you pay. It's enough to give your whole family food. That's true. So <laughs> here you have to be eat, enjoy it. Mm. And, and this is the whole idea of what you do every day, a break of what you do every day. You see some people coming here to just sleep over. Mm. We have 89 rooms in wow. this hotel. 89? 89. Okay. Rooms there all the way up to the seventh floor. Uh -huh. People who come here over the weekend just to spend a night mm. with a friend okay. or with a wife or something like that so mm. that uh, you give yourself it's like just a treat. Just, uh, you know, you just want to feel that you have worked hard enough. Okay. And now let's go to Embore, take a nice room, Lovely. eat a nice meal. Yes. So that's what hotels are there for. Okay. It's yeah. And even today the rooms are not enough, you know. Yeah. They're never enough. So why this major shift from investing in education to the hospitality industry? I had bought this product when they were very cheap. Long time ago, to the year two. 2000. Wow. And they were very cheap. Mm -hmm. I had just sold a, a property mm. when I was starting on my own. Okay. I sold a property. I sold a, a house I had built uh, within my in my other life. Okay. So I sold that house. Mm -hmm. And the money, I had to invest the money now to make me start off. So when I put this, I bought this job. Mm. I wanted to use the house that was here as hostel for students mm. who are coming from farm. So I I did that for some time. Okay. And then it stayed there for, for some time. And then everybody else is putting up lots of flats. Yes. Apartments here. Yeah. They are called apartments mm. and uh, they are luxury apartments. And they are going for a hundred they were going for a hundred and twenty, a hundred thousand mm. a bed three bedroom. So mm -hmm. then I asked myself I, I want to create employment. Mm. You know, it has always been my passion. I'm training people. I'm training so many hotel mm. uh, students in hospitality. Yes. They are being taken to other hostels. Others have no jobs. I said, suppose they become part of that employment. Mm. And then I, I, turned, I built a hotel here so that as in the training, the okay. students can be familiarizing themselves yes. with the hotels. The students can come here for internship. Uh -huh. Of course, some of them, not all of them. Mm. But at least everybody will have passed through Emory Hotel Love to that. see now what to expect when they go out there. Mm. At the same time, I'll create employment. And you creating know, em yeah. employment for you is such a it, big it agenda. Is, yeah, it's part of my empowering the youth. Okay. You know, okay. so I empower you. Yes. My, you have not read my book here. Uh, 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 What's no. the name of your book, by the way? Uh, this, the old one is still empowering youth through ah. education. Okay. So empowering them through education. What does that mean? Is you go through education and mm. you get a job. Yes. Yeah? You either self-employed or something. So that's how to empower the youth. Mm. And also, so that when I'm doing that, am I also part of that employment? Yes, I am at the college. There I have employed many people. Mm. Very, very many. I have lecturers going up to about almost a hundred wow. in the three campuses, and then about I've not counted them of late. Mm. And then I have the staff, I have the accounts people, uh, ICT people, non administration, the receptionist administration. Okay. And then the the support team, the wow. staff, the compound, the cleaners. Wow. You know, thousands of them. Wow. That's my passion. Wow. And. Uh, the students are paying fees, so we are able to do all these things. Mm. Uh, and at the end of the day, I'd imagine that's what gives you more fulfillment yes. than just the money you get. Yes. In fact, I, I, I have reached a point where I, I feel uh, empowering people is even more important. That's why for me now, uh, of course I appear in all the compasses, mm -hmm. uh, especially in the head office, to make sure that the staff know I'm still around. Eh? Yes. But uh, what I do is now, you know, uh, and seeing people like kill people. Now, now, I have one of my students in this group. Yes. Suppose it comes to me, they want, they have a channel there, they want to do something, and then I say no. Mm. So my work is to empower you from wherever, education and in your career. Wow. So I never turn anybody down. And her joy is made fuller by this one fact. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And everywhere I go, 
everywhere I go, I, I find them there. The industry was different from me. In hotels, in businesses, mm -hmm. in, uh, even in media. And, and that makes your legacy timeless. Yes. That it will not only be propagated yes. by your own children, yes. Yes. but by everyone who's passed through your yes. hands. I, I think uh, when I go up there, mm. I'll tell God, thank you God, because I, I try my best. Lovely. But I have to, I have to come and join. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, Many families crumble on the premise of bad blood and familiarity. What has made her case unique? They are honest. We have meetings every month. Mm. We meet with them. Mm -hmm. And then there are times when we meet now with their spouses. Okay. You know, uh, because I also work with them. I'll introduce you to one of them here. One of the spouses? One of the, my daughter in love. Wow. <laughs> Wow. And also my son in love, he is here, he okay. comes here, uh -huh. I don't know whether he is now somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So, and all of them, the three of them. Yes. So, to me they are my children. Lovely. And I tell them, no, you rest, now you are here with me, I'm your <laughs> mom. And they are very happy. That's true. So, also that makes me very proud. And now, to the ever animated and refreshing Crossfire segment. What pet would you consider a favorite? A pet? A pet? Yes. Nothing. None. I don't <laughs> like dogs. Uh -huh. I don't like cats. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a horse in future? No. Well, I don't have. I don't like any pets. Okay. For you to even just be in that space of leadership, mm -hmm. I'm sure you're also a reader. I, yes. So please tell me your favorite author. Uh, someone you really enjoy reading. Uh, I have very many of them okay. in my library, mm -hmm. but the one I keep on talking, uh, uh, looking at is uh, mm -hmm. the, the U.S. former president mm -hmm. uh, Barack Obama. Okay. I like, you know, I like him as a person, so I like to see the book on even the, the white, okay. the original book. Yes. And mostly, I cannot say. One in particular, but the motivation of books I like to read, mm. especially for young people. Even my students, mm. some of them have written motivation of books. And you would read them still? And I would read them. Wow. Yes. What would you consider your most expensive habit? Traveling. <laughs> I love traveling. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. All this time from 2000, before uh, I, I started NIPS, because yes. I started NIPS when I suddenly became sick. Mm. I used, my husband used to pay me tickets, business class, first class. I have never traveled economy. Ooh. But when I started on my own, mm -hmm. I started first to go, I would still go for my holidays to see my kids, my okay. children. Yes. I used to go economy throughout. Throughout, even for what I was business class. <laughs> Until one of my recent trip, about three years ago, mm -hmm. my son told me, my last one, yes. I told him, them to get me a ticket to go to the US. Mm -hmm. And then they, gave me, they brought me a ticket. I looked at him. See, all oh, this, what? When, what? Am I taking a whole plane alone? <laughs> and he told me, no, ma'am, <coughs> you have been traveling economy. And even now, when you can afford, mm. you are still going economy. Oh, wow. You are not going to allow it. Away from Imori, away from many projects, what two things, two things are still unmarked in your bucket list? Um, there are many, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the top two. Like, if God told you that uh, I'm taking you home tomorrow, yes. you'd want to do them today today. They are today. Yes. I want to complete the, uh, the academy, which I've already started. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want now to do the young mothers from the time they take their kids to school. Yes. So, the, the remaining years of my active, I want to, to understand mm. why we have this amazing group of these kids that are now. Uh, not well behaved. I want, and it comes from the from the parents. Okay. I want to interact with the parents. I've already started mm -hmm. that one. Okay. Then advising my kids on how to progress. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure these words will be reiterated even long after you're gone. Yes. <sighs> and that has been it. I mean, my goodness, such a lady, such a woman of stature, yet so humble. 
by the way, I would want to ask you, do you ever consider yourself big? Do you consider yourself big? Do I look big? <laughs> <laughs> you heard it from her. Yes, that's why I feel too. Oh I, want I want to, you know, let me mm. tell you something before you go. Yes. The people up there, mm. they don't need me. You know, people who have businesses, I have, I know so many. Yes. So many managers, you know, owners of, I don't, they don't need me. Who needs you? Oh my. We are the people who need me. Yes. So that is where I belong. Wow. Wow. Such a parting shot from our very own Madam Lizzie Wanyueke. And with all the accolades and with 